questions? Yeah, big win for our team tonight. Um, cannot say enough about our defense. They were fantastic against a really, really good UAB offense. And, and uh, I haven't even seen the stats yet, but um, time after time they showed up. They came, came up with turnovers and tackles for loss. And um, just that's how, you, that's how you win, you know, is, is by playing great defense. And uh, we were not pretty by any means offensively. Uh, we shot ourselves in the foot at times. Um, and it made it hard on our defense. But at the end of the day, we found a way to win. And you know my saying, celebrate all wins. And so we're going to celebrate this win. We get to still control our destiny in the conference, which is good. And uh, we'll get ready for North Texas for next week. With that said, questions? You know, I know you said it wasn't pretty offensively and a lot of things you'd like to clean up. 128 passing yards, 224 looks like rushing. Um, you just was a team that you were going to have to take what they gave you. Um, you know, were you happy with the way that you guys did that, even though the stats might not be? You know, as, as sexy as what we've become accustomed to. Yeah, no, and you make a great point. We knew we had to run to win. And, and, and that last drive, that was the epitome of run to win. We had several explosive runs, kept the chains moving, was able to run the clock out. Um, you know, what a great defense UAB has. So they don't, they don't give up a lot of explosive plays. We went in with the mindset we need to run the football and try to control the clock. And I knew if our defense could, could have the night they were having, that if we just didn't screw it up offensively, which several times we tried to screw it up. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we, we made a great drive at the end to, to run the clock out. And, uh, and, and so very proud of our football team. You're going to have those gritty wins, you know, during the season. And, and we needed to have a gritty win against this football team because you aren't going to beat them any other way. You know, all the your passing yards and, you know, all the score, you, they're just not going to give you that. So this was going to be a defensive football game and a, and a, and a gritty game for us offensively. And, and the plan worked. So we're, we're going to celebrate and have a good time. And then here comes North Texas. You know, LT hasn't had a lot of playing time, um, you know, end of the FIU game. Comes in here tonight against a team that, you know, close to his hometown. Uh, you know, what did you see from him that was, you know, Making as successful as he was. Well, since he's gotten here, you know, I mean, he just he works his butt off every day. Um, you know, he he's an explosive back. He's a powerful back. He has good vision. You know, and and there's some older guys ahead of him. And and it's that time in the season. You know, it's that time when, you know, you, you he made us feel comfortable enough. You had Kai who who, who was dinged up with a shoulder. Um, you know, we had some other injuries in the running back position. And, and so we just felt comfortable with LT. And he showed that tonight. It was funny, though, uh, before he played, uh, you know, out at practice, coach, I'm, I'm really nervous. Um, and I said, buddy, it, it, I said, remember when you played FIU? I said, you ran pretty good. Right? I said, just go do that again. So he went out there and did it. But uh, he, he's got a bright future here. Got a really bright future here. Very proud for him to be such a young guy against a defense like that and run the ball how he did. What was the message you gave to me in halftime? Well, you know, it wasn't any hoorah speeches other than, you know, we were going to be up on defense. We knew that we, we had to make a stop defensively, and, uh, and then we had to be able to find a way to score offensively. And, and, you know, fortunately for us, the defense just, you know, kept getting turnovers and, and gave us a short field. And uh, we knew we were in the game. Uh, we knew it was going to be a close game like it, like it was. And uh, nobody blinked, you know. They just they knew what we needed to do, and they went out there after halftime and got it done. Is he just going to be kind of week-to-week week at this point? Say that again? Is Kai, um, just yeah, I, I'm hoping we can get him back this week. Uh, we got to see. You know, he has a AC sprain, and so, you know, those things take a little bit of time. But he's a guy, he's, he, he's gonna, he tried to – he wanted to go tonight, and, but, uh, you know, just wasn't ready to go. So, hopefully, by North Texas, he's ready to go. You know, with uh, Wayne McBride on their team, they're running back. Um, you know, close to 200 yards on 24 carries, but you're also able to counter that, um, you know, with the number of fumbles that you, you created. Mm -hmm. um, you know, were you happy with the way that you were able to – I guess he's a guy that's going to get his number. Yes. Why, but just to yeah. counter that with that. Yeah, you, you had to get turnovers to win this game. Um, and multiple turnovers, and we did. And I thought we controlled the line of scrimmage pretty good. You know, he, we, we let it was a third and eight, third and nine, and they ran the stretch play, and he, and he broke a big one that you know, and, and that was disappointing. But 
Um, and there was two or three other times that I had, but yes, yeah, he's going to get his yards. But for the most part, I thought our defense really rallied to the ball. Um, you know, they we, we always talked about we got to win on third down defensively, and over and over again we we won on that number. So that was big for us. You know, Khalif as a guy that it seems like we're talking about every week now because he's making so many plays. You know, what did you see from him tonight that you know allowed him to have the success that he did? Well, Coach Summers, you, you know, puts him in good spots to go make plays, and, and he takes the best players and, and tries to create opportunities for them to make plays. And, um, and hats off to all the other guys, because there's a lot of guys that are in there doing the dirty work to allow like a guy like Khalif to make his play, you know, and that's why they ca call it a team game. And, you know, when Khalif gets to shine, there's 10 other men out there that are doing their job so that it can set him up to, to go make that play. Um, but Khalif's had a fantastic season so far. Uh, came up in a critical time with the interception. They are going to kick the field goal to tie the game. Uh, and, we, and when we needed it most, he, he made the big play for us. Early in the season, it seemed like when you guys were returning punch, you have to hold your breath a little bit. But Jalen Hall, the last few games, has been solid for you guys back there. Um, you know, what kind of led to him getting there, and you know, what have you thought of him in that role? Well, he's an older guy, uh, and you know, he's a guy you trust, and he's been working really hard at it, and uh, came up with a huge return. And you know, that's why I was disappointed offensively. You know, two or three times we get down there and we have false starts or take a sack or you know those kind of things, and. Um, but yeah, for Jalen, that you know, he's come up big multiple times for us in, in the return game, and you know, and we were searching for a while. You know, we, we've rolled a lot of guys, but he's a, he's an older guy that we trust, and uh, you know, I'm glad he was able to to get back there and do some things for us. All right, guys, y'all.